If you want to win a YJ Pocket Timer for free, make sure you watch until the end of the video. We're going to be doing an international giveaway for one. Hey everyone, it's Billy here from Daily Puzzles. In today's video, we got an unboxing and first impression of the brand new YJ Pocket Timers. Now, I've been super excited for these. Um, I've never really been a fan of the traditional timers. Um, I know obviously most people use them and uh, they're regulated by the WCA to use the um, speed stack ones, but I've never just been a fan of them. I always felt a little bit clunky um, to me personally, so I'm really looking forward to these. Um, basically, they're a really mini version. Uh, it might be a little bit hard to tell on camera, but they are really small, like I'm talking like super super duper small um, it comes in yellow blue and gray unfortunately i forgot to bring the gray uh, but that's all good we're going to take a look at these two today um, so both of these are in stock and ready to ship on our website um, for a limited quantity and once they sell out the second batch should be arriving next week just quickly before I get into the video, I also wanted to let you all know that Ting Man is doing a massive giveaway for 50 cubes sponsored by us at Daily Puzzles. Um, so if you want to enter that, the link in the video description uh, will show you how to enter. It will be to his video. Okay, I've got it opened up and you can really see now just how small this is. I mean, I have a 4x4 cube on the side here. This is the MGC 4x4, a brand new release from YJ also. And you can see it's roughly the same size. So this is actually perfect to put in your pocket. I suppose that's probably why they named it the Pocket Timer. Um, good naming scheme. I do have two criticisms on this timer though, but they are really minor. Um, I wouldn't say um, these are criticisms to not buy it. Just two things to take note is the lanyard um, is not totally easy to put it in by hand. Um, I was trying and as you can see, um, it doesn't really stick out the other side. Not a major issue, but you will need probably a needle or a pin to pull that through. And on top of that, um, it would be nice to have a little bit more of a comfortable spot to pull the battery cover off of. Um, it feels like it's ripping on my fingernail a bit because um, it's shut tightly. So it'd be nice if there was something, uh, it was designed a little bit better to make that open easier. But other than that, um, that's my only criticism on this timer. Um, I really love the soft touch feeling of the plastic. It's really hard to show on camera. Um, at first I thought they may have a silicone shell on this, but it is plastic, but it's really, it's really hard to explain, but it's really smooth, really silky, very nice feeling plastic. So again, just to clarify my two criticisms, the lanyard hole and uh, this opening a bit better, I would not say don't buy this timer because of that, because once you get the lanyard on, you really never have to take it off. And once you get batteries on, obviously you don't have to take it off for a long time either, um, but it's just a, two minor criticisms. But again, this puzzle is $10 US dollars, around $16 Australian. So um, you really can't expect much more for this. In fact, I would expect this puzzle to be, uh, sorry, this timer to be around $30 um, Australian. So just because of how good the quality is. Okay, so if you weren't already familiar with this timer, basically on the left and the right side, these little things here are infrared sensors. So instead of a traditional timer where you slap your hands back down on the hand uh, sort of pads, this one you just put them uh, on the side and that will allow you to stop the timer. So let's turn it on real quick. Okay, so we can see it lights up there. Um, you can hold this button here and that will turn on the audio. So you can see now it makes noises, but if you want it to be a bit more quieter, you can hold it in and now it's off, and now there is no audio. I really like that uh, feature, because if it's night time, you want to practice, don't want to annoy your parents, um, or your spouse, or whoever you're living with, that's a very good feature. So, and then it should be simple enough as pressing this button, put your hands down to prime it, and then lift it up, and it should go. It's because I'm holding it, blocking the other sensor. So I'm going to rearrange the camera real quick, and then we'll try again. Okay, so forgive me for the timer not being flat on the desk how it should be. It's a little bit hard to set up the camera from a straight down view right now, but it should be a matter of pressing this button, which should reset it, and then technically your hands would be on the table, and then you go, the timer starts, and then as soon as you're done scrambling and solving the cube, put your hands down and the timer uh, should stop like that. Through the viewfinder, it does look a little bit hard to see. Uh, I'm not sure if that's going to show up in the video or not, but in person, it's perfectly clear and you can easily tell the time. So that's probably just the video camera if you can see it like that. And let's do that one more time. You press the button to prime it, put your hands down, lift them up, and then the time is going. And then to stop it, you put your hands in front of the infrared sensors like that. Really super simple. Uh, the maximum range on this is about four centimeters. So you can't put your hands all the way over here, I'm afraid. You do have to put it close, but that is really easy uh, when the timer is just flat down on a desk. One thing that's really, really great about this timer um, is one, it's portable, but two, you're never actually gonna hit the uh, physical buttons um, like you would on a traditional timer since it is infrared. So you're gonna stop actually resetting uh, or deleting 
yourselves by accident. So massive thumbs up from me uh, to YJ for this product. I would highly recommend this, especially since it's only uh, 10 US dollars, around 16 Australian. Um, you really cannot get anything better in this price range. In fact, there aren't any uh, speed cubing timers available in this price range. So. Um, it's a world's first on the price uh, for speed cubing, um, also on the concept and also on the portability. So massive thumbs up from me at De uh, Billy at from Daily Puzzles. Um, I definitely recommend picking this up. Again, I did list two criticisms at the start of the video, which was it could be a little bit easier to put the lanyard in um, and the battery compartment. This could be a little bit uh, easier to open. But the reason those two aren't a big um, problem is because you're not frequently uh, taking off or removing the lanyard. And on top of that, you can do it with a needle or a pin. So that's really not a problem. I just thought it was something I should mention and then with the battery cover you're only putting the batteries in um, however long the batteries last so it's not like you got to do this every day um, so this is a really minor criticism I wouldn't say um, consider that really on whether you should buy this or not especially for the price because it is so affordable Thanks so much for watching the video guys. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below the video. And now let's get into the giveaway portion of the video. All right, now that we are into the giveaway portion of the video, I'm gonna make this really simple as usual. The winner will be able to get a brand new YJ Pocket Timer shipped anywhere in the world. Um, so it doesn't matter if you're in Australia or internationally, we'll ship you a blue Pocket Timer for free. Um, the conditions to enter this giveaway are one, you have to be subscribed to the channel. Two, you have to like this video. And three, you have to leave a comment saying you where you're from, uh, why you want the timer, and that's basically it. From two weeks from today, we will pick a winner and announce it on our YouTube community, uh, community page. I do see a lot of comments um, all the time saying, when will the giveaways be announced? Um, and a lot of the time, um, that means the giveaway has already been announced if uh, the time enough time has passed for the competition to be over. And we announce them on our uh, community page since I don't want to do another video just to announce the winners. Um, seems a little bit like a waste to me personally. So yeah, check our YouTube community page to see the winners in two weeks. So again, that's subscribe, like the video, and leave a comment saying where you're from and why you want to win this timer. Two weeks from today, we'll pick a winner, and uh, hopefully it can be you. Uh, we'll see. I'm not sure how many people will answer this giveaway. Probably a lot, uh, but I'm sure someone out there wants this, and someone will definitely win it. So make sure you enter the giveaway. Thanks for watching this video, guys. If you want to buy one now and don't want to wait, um, go check out our website, dailypuzzles.com.au. Use code YouTube to get a discount off your order, and we'll see you in the next video.